Hello everybody. What pops into your mind when you hear the word grandma or grandpa? You probably imagine an elderly person with grey hair, spending their days at home solving crossword puzzles, watching TV and taking care of their plants. All in all, elderly business. Oh, and they're waiting for their grandchildren to visit, of course, because they don't know how to use smartphones and are afraid of everything in the world. But not the protagonists of today's video. They are so cool and confident that it's hard to believe that they exist. Let's get it on. Debbie Crawl Debbie Crawl has been in fitness for over 35 years. That's impressive, especially when you find out that Debbie is 63 years old. For real. It's hard to imagine that this sporty, fit woman could be someone else's grandmother. Moreover, Debbie Crawl doesn't just love sports. She's a certified personal trainer through the National Academy of Sports Medicine and a retired competitive bodybuilder. Debbie appeared in numerous commercials from 1985 to 1993, as well as in several magazines. She also starred in the Netflix documentary Fearless as the personal trainer for the three-time PBR world champion Silvano Alves. Today, Debbie is happy to train different people, and her Instagram is like one big motivational poster. Seriously, just look at this flexible, strong, and confident woman. It seems that she can move heaven and earth, and no one can stop her, not even at her age. Lena Salmi It's never too late to get on a skateboard. <laughs> Lena Salmi from Helsinki is more than 60 years old, but she's ready to destroy any stereotypes. Salmi started skateboarding at the age of 57. At first, she used her bicycle to go swimming at the Olympic Stadium, but was afraid that someone would steal it. So, Salmi bought herself a longboard. It was compact, and she could store it in the locker room. Four years later, she bought a skateboard and became more interested in skateboarding. Lena sincerely believes that 61 years old is a great age to start skateboarding. Salmi believes that now she's retired, she has enough time to perfect her skills and enough freedom to make a lot of mistakes. Of course, sometimes teenagers laugh at Lena when they see her skateboarding, but most people react positively, especially in skate parks. By the way, skateboarding isn't her only unusual hobby. Salmi has been practicing acrobatics, snowboarding, and surfing for several years now, and recently began to draw graffiti. Instead of threads and needles, Salmi carries paint cans in her purse, and we admire her hobbies, her confidence, and her love of life. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. Richard Lupkis. Richard Lupkis rightfully holds the title of one of the biggest arm wrestlers in the world. He is 190 centimeters tall and weighs about 143 kilograms. Richard is a multiple world champion and former professional fighter known as the Giant, the Rock, and the Man of Steel. Richard is 62 years old, but his age didn't affect his shape in any way. Richard is a unique person. He has huge, wide shoulders, long and powerful arms with wide palms, perfect for arm wrestling. He started arm wrestling in 1974, and in 1978, he ranked second at the WPAA World Championship. After a few more major victories, Richard signed a contract with WCW to become a professional wrestler, but soon abandoned the sport as the company wanted him to move to Japan, which meant being away from his family. Turns out, even big guys need families. In the early 90s, Lupkis left arm wrestling, but only to return in 2007. Despite his age, there are more victories than defeats in his career. Lupkis is a farmer, and sports is his favorite hobby. Richard works out five times a week for several hours in his own gym, and also trains his friends and his grandson. In addition to sports, this incredible person is also an enthusiast of technology and weapons. For example, he uses drones to monitor his farm. Dillis Price Dillis is more than 80 years old, but she's completely different from her peers. She might look like any retired teacher, probably because she is a retired teacher, but Dillis has quite an unusual hobby, which is jumping out of planes. 
This fearless old Welsh woman made her first parachute jump at the age of 54. Since then, she's jumped 1,139 times. But Dillis is clearly not going to stop. She does it just for the pleasure of doing it. However, before her first jump, Dillis was petrified and thought that she was going to die. But a second later, the woman realized that she was flying. And now she can't imagine her life without this mind-blowing sensation. But Dillis isn't just a skydiver. She specializes in air acrobatics and freestyling. Yes, she's more than 80 years old and she doesn't think it's weird. Dillis says her mission is to teach elderly people like herself to follow their passion despite their age. We are alive, we're still alive, and we're alive until the day we die, she said. Nyon Lee a Californian bodybuilder of Vietnamese origin is known as the real-life Master Roshi because of his unusual resemblance to the popular anime character from Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. Roshi? Yeah. Fit and muscular, Lee definitely doesn't look his age, even though he's already more than 50 years old. And he's in much better shape than some 20-year-olds. After moving to the USA at the age of 16, he started working in a nail salon, and some years later became the owner of the place. However, bodybuilding has always been, and still is, his main passion. Mick Ives 79-year-old Mick Ives is probably the best cyclist in the world, or at least the most dedicated. According to Ives, he's been racing since the fall of 1956. Despite his age, he's not going to quit cycling, and it looks like he still enjoys pedaling all day. Mick rides his bicycle all year round because he just can't live without it. Some of Mick's classmates from high school are old, can't walk, or are already dead. The people who know this elderly cyclist are surprised by his willpower and his passion for life. But of course, he doesn't have the same physical shape he used to have in his youth. But Mick is sure that he just needs to train harder. As for the age, age is not a problem. I feel like a 40-year-old most of the time, you know. I just don't realize how old I am. Juan Wreckers some bodybuilders look like Greek gods, but Joanne Wreckers looks more like a fearless Viking from a Nordic legend, like a rock with cave paintings all over his body. This 55-year-old Dutchman looks very brutal and even frightening, but like many big men, he has a gentle heart. For example, he trains people with mental disorders. It all began when someone broke his heart and he went on a bike trip around the country. On the way, he suddenly felt the urge to train and he hit the gym in every city on his route. And so, after after turning 50, the man turned into a real athlete. However, neither his age nor his significant other were an obstacle to Juan's love for training and travel. Moreover, the wife of the Dutch Viking shares all his hobbies, including his tattoos. Juan is also trying to make sports more popular by inspiring people with this example. Oh. 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 By the way, the popularity that the man gained online has not affected his lifestyle either. The future pensioner often tells journalists he feels like a pirate navigating the ocean. David Cummings after his wife unexpectedly died of cancer, David Cummings decided to live every day as if it were his last one. Among other things, he got into a sport that can be challenging even for young people, not to mention the elderly. David spent the first three years after his wife's death skiing, surfing, windsurfing, and kiteboarding. It's definitely not a walk in the park. Back in his hometown in Fareham, England, he decided to start kiteboarding. David knows he's not as agile as before, but he doesn't allow this to become an excuse. After all, the main thing is passion, desire to do something, and to live every day like it's your last. This video was shot when David was 77 years old. 77? And Cummings really looks like an ordinary pensioner, except when he's on the water. David doesn't simply surf the waves, he literally flies, driven by the wind. Helmut Strebel this bodybuilder is known as the world's most shredded man. Just look at him. Helmut's muscles are extraordinarily sculpted, and he has a minimum body fat percentage. He is 191 centimeters tall and weighs between 88 and 93 kilograms. Helmut was born in 1969. By the time he was 12, he was a skinny and clumsy boy, bullied at school all the time. But he decided to change his life and become stronger. He started training using two 5-liter plastic bottles. They may not 
might sound very inspiring, but nothing was going to stop him from achieving his dream. Helmut wanted to become a fitness model and a bodybuilder. It was only at the age of 16 that he entered the gym for the first time and started working out even harder. Strebel says he doesn't use any steroids and achieves this shape through training and diet. The most shredded man has his whole training week planned beforehand, and he consecutively trains his back, chest, legs, arms, abs, and delts, and one day is reserved for cardio training. Childhood resentments are far behind, and today, Helmut's motivation is to be an example, a fitness ideal. <laughs> And training helps Helmut to feel happy and healthy, despite the fact that he's already 50. Psst, dude, are you looking for new technologies and great gadgets? Are your thoughts focused on the future? Do you love huge vehicles and can't imagine your life without robots around you? Then visit TechZone and you'll find all this and more. The link is in the description. You interested? Great.